Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Kenny's Movie Palace for a... Told you guys I had a another... This is my third video of the day. I had another, uh, as the kids say, haul video that had to deal with movie memorabilia. I was watching Mr. Dan, I'll leave below, and Jim from In the Dark with Jim. Now it's dark. Whatever. But Jim and Dan have great channels. I really enjoy both of theirs. And they went to Timu. I'm not very familiar with Timu. This was my first order. I was kind of leery about it, but I'm actually kind of happy with it. And they picked up metal tin signs of movies and all kinds of different um, uh, pop culture things. And... Um, I I bought a lot and they didn't cost they didn't cost that much. Every it was with Timu it was free delivery. And uh the only thing that I didn't like about it was the signs came in this plastic bag. Okay, and these are like metal signs that can be like dented as you'll see and there there's one that's a little bit dented, but I kind of, you know, fixed it to get it out and these signs are 8 by 12 and they can fit on your wall per perfectly because what happened was I had went to uh, Michael's and um, Hobby Lobby to look for because these posters on my wall are 27 by 40 and a five pack of those uh, just five frames for these movies were over $120 so and I have a lot of posters that I wanted to get and I wanted to frame, especially like these Star Wars posters and my favorite Wreck-It Ralph poster. So I seen these tins, uh, tin signs and I was like, oh, these are pretty cool. And they were like only, all this stuff that I got right here cost me 70 bucks. Free shipping, no sales tax, okay? So, and these that you would find at like Hobby Lobby or um, other places for like ten or twelve dollars. Some of these were like two thirty-eight, uh, three dollars. They're like very odd numbers too. So um, if you like this, after looking at them, I might get a couple more. But yeah, I got all these, and it cost me seventy bucks. So. Um, I'll go through them and I'll show you. And I think they did a, a pretty good job. Like uh, when I was watching Jim's uh, video, there was one that he picked up that I got too, that you can see that it's kind of like blurry on it. And I will show it to you. But when these are on the wall and people are just like looking at it, they're only like looking at the, they're not looking at the fine print of the names. So um, the first one I got, and these are how big they are. Okay, and the first one I got was Frank uh, Frankenstein, and if you if I get it like really close to you, I mean it looks it looks really good, and the backing is there's two holes that you can you know put a uh, hang on the wall, and actually there's four holes. Let's see. There you go. There's four holes. So and this is the one that came a little bit bent, as you can see. But I tried to like bend it, say it's like kind of, but once it goes on the wall, it's just going to stay there. So I got that one. And like when I was looking at these, a lot of the posters, especially for these, the movies that I want were like $9.96 and plus you're going to pay with the framing. So I figured you're getting the movie posters and basically they're like little, so you can put a lot in there. So I got Raiders of the Lost Ark, and this is the original movie poster for Raiders. Now, I got, uh, I'll just show it. I got all three, uh, three of the star, major uh, Star Wars ones. Okay. And they had, now if you look closely with that, the grain on it, you can see the grain on Luke's chest and stuff. But when you're like looking far away, you're like, oh, that's really cool. 
you know so i'm pretty happy with it and i like how they have like on the edges that everything's like worn like it's poster worn on it so i got that one empire and then i got another uh another star wars because i couldn't make up my mind and like i said these were like only like two dollars and 28 cents or some of them were like 224 so i got another one of the star wars ones because what i want to do in my movie room i want to put all three of the original star wars uh empire and you'll see jedi in here and then like for another star wars one i can put it like right beside me on my wall so i'm really happy with these as if you don't know i am a big pepsi fan so i got this to put in my kitchen next one up i'm a big james bond fan and james bond I just like I like the uh, this movie and I thought this poster looked really cool and this is the original Clash of the Titans. I really thought this looked good. Another one, you now Jim picked this one up too, and I can tell what he's talking about on the very bottom of it. Jim picked this one up, the Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein. This is one of my favorite uh, of the Abbott and Costello. Uh, but if you can see, sorry about the glare, guys. You can see on the bottom, it's kind of faded on the bottom. But I, I love the edges of this. But, I mean, I think these are so neat. And if you can't find the uh, original posters for these, and like I said, when you want to get them framed... You know they cost a lot too this one came um in a, a box and this one is blues brothers next one up this is the original poster for it and they're here Ghostbusters like I said I wanted to buy these all 27 by 40 posters okay but I couldn't afford it they were like so expensive so I I seen uh, the guys doing this and I thought this would be a better and plus I could hang more on the wall at the time at the time too for it so um, this one I'm gonna put in my uh, kitchen and I got another Pepsi one. I didn't realize I had gotten two Pepsi ones. But I like this one because it looks like the bottle cap. So. Got that one. They didn't have any of the, um, the poster. Like the original poster. All they had was for two. And so I got this one for Back to the Future. So I think that's... Uh, the DeLorean looks so cool. This one I was really excited about. This had sold out. And while I was on, I guess the person put it back in their cart again. And I picked up the original RoboCop poster. And like you see on the bottom, the, the names and all that are kind of a little bit faded. But these, this is going on the wall, so people aren't really going to look at that. They're just going to see the RoboCop poster, you know? This one just came like this, and this is just uh, hot popcorn. So I was just going to put that uh, in the movie room, too. And then uh, you all remember the this, especially from Greece, the uh, Let's All Go to the Lobby. So I was going to put that over... Uh, in my uh, in my living room. Next one up. This was too good, and I'm a big Godzilla 
a fan, and this is Godzilla versus the Atomic Monster. This is from like Monsters, I think, it, yeah, it's uh, like Monsters Magazine that they uh, used to sell. And then um, Jedi, Return of the Jedi. So I got all three. I actually got two Star Wars ones, but um, I wanted to put the uh, closer of the uh, art of the original three uh, on display. And then uh, Mr. Da I know Mr. Dan picked this one up. And um, this is actually what brought me when I seen Jim's and Dan's um, thing. And uh, they had, uh, I know he, Jim had gotten uh, the creature. But uh, this one has all the monsters on it. The... Um, uh, Franken the Frankenstein was the only single one that I seen, but I'd like to get all of these individual and put around my living room and my uh, movie room. And the last one I picked up is the Terminator with Arnold. So uh, I I think these are like really cool. And there's the so this di this didn't break me like all these cost me seventy bucks and they were uh, the shipping's a little, um, the packing how they pack it I'm not really too fond of that I mean they put it in this like little flimsy bag and these are like metal so if you get like a real disgruntled person <coughs> excuse me they can like bend it or something but um i'm really happy with these signs i'm really happy with these signs i mean um if you would go to like a flea market or um you'd probably pay up to maybe ten dollars for these five or ten dollars and like i said i think the the most expensive one i got was this one and this was 350 357 or something like that so I really don't think I really don't think these are bad. Like I said, this is the first time I ever went on Timu. I know my aunt was a big shopper on Timu and she had told me about it and I had heard horror stories about it. But after seeing uh, Mr. Dan, I'll link his channel and Jim from now it's dark uh, getting a couple signs. I was um, I wasn't that apprehensive about, you know, getting them. And um, they have like plenty more others. And especially like when you put them in your cart, this is a little hint. Keep on going like right away because they'll, it will pop up on your app and tell you these are limited. Because the Robo, like I said, the Robo, I think it was the RoboCop one. It was in my cart. And then it there was like two left. And then I had changed my mind and was looking for another one and somebody took it out of my cart. So it's like, uh, you only have like a limited amount of time because the quantities are very limited on these. I don't know why, but, and each one, like when you buy them, they'll tell you like where the seller came from. And like a lot of the sellers were like different sellers on there. So, um, yeah, but I, I really, uh, I'm really happy with these. I can't wait to, to put these up and uh, see what they look like. And like I said, um, when you're like looking, aw like looking away from it, you're basically, you know, if you like look here, you're basically seeing the image. You're not seeing the words and stuff like that. So that really, you had to really get up, really up, get up close because some of them, they're like, you know, kind of, um, blurry on the bottom like Jim had said about the uh, um, Abbott and Costello ones but I'm really happy with these I I think uh, I think they do a pretty good job with this and you can't beat the price and like I said I'm not a big huckster for Timu this was my first order from Timu but I would go back again and get them I'd like to see if I could get more of the Universal Monster ones individually like I got the Frankenstein one 
so uh, I might do I might do that uh, now that I know you know that everything's you know good with how I got them and stuff like that so I might just do another order on it because I got plenty of wall space in here to do it so yeah so like I said um, no movie pickups but um, I wanted to share uh, the Timu art wall art and they're like tin tin signs and I, I like how they have the four holes you can see the four holes on there so that's it um, let me know if you liked any of my pictures that I got uh, if you're happy uh, if you've ever dealt with Timu before give me the horror stories too uh, you know um, if you gotten like damaged stuff or bad stuff and like I said I had I was kind of leery about it but after seeing Jim and uh, Mr. Dan's uh, orders I was kind of you know okay about getting them so uh, yeah so let me know uh, if you ever de dealt with Timu if you like these metal signs and what was your favorite of the metal signs I got and like I said they have like a lot of pulp pop culture ones they got a lot of like uh like coke uh mountain dew a and w root beer ones uh they had like different like uh they were i i tried to get big trouble in little china that was sold out um i tried to get t2 that was also sold out so uh because i wanted to get both terminators and put put them up uh beside each other but um uh, they didn't have like a lot of the like they had like Evil Dead that I'm not really interested in and uh, Army of Darkness you know I like those movies but I wouldn't hang the posters up you know they had um, they had all kinds of different Reanimator um, Toxic Avenger um, and like I said the most expensive one was the the uh, Universal um, um, monsters so and i uh, i can't remember i want to say it was like 335 or something like that it wasn't they were like really all inexpensive i got 20 i got 20 for 70 bucks and that was free shipping and no tax so i think i did pretty good so uh let me know give me a thumbs up uh, like comment subscribe if you ever dealt with timu i know i'm rambling on but I was kind of excited about getting these and sharing them with you. And uh, I'll let you know what they look like once I get them hung. So uh, I don't know if I have to do nails or if I can do thumbtacks or I don't know. So I'll, I'll see. So, uh, yeah. Have a great day, everyone. Be safe and take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.